bit about myself, my background, this race, just a real quick uh, recap so you can know exactly what you're going out there knocking on doors about. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. Uh, I grew up in Southern California. Uh, my parents were both public school teachers. Uh, went to public schools my whole life up to UCLA where I met my wonderful wife Lisa in the back in the Bruin hat. Um, competing on the UCLA mock trial team. Uh, then went off to Yale Law School, uh, worked for a judge on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in Montana for a year before coming back and practicing as a lawyer, uh, dealing with a lot of cases uh, involving uh, the mortgage collapse and the financial collapse, and just kind of seeing how people uh, were being taken advantage of, and decided instead of doing this one case at a time, we would get in there and try to work for a better system overall and try to get in there and build an economy and build a system that works for everybody. Uh, and so we came into this race uh, last year against a guy who's a first-termer named Steve Knight, uh, who's just a really, really extreme guy uh, on so many issues. And so uh, on women's health, he has you know, co-sponsored a piece of legislation that will allow a male employer to fire a female employee if she is single and gets pregnant. Uh, he has no exceptions for a woman's right to choose in cases of rape, incest, or life of the mother. He has none. Uh, at our first debate on Social Security, he said, I think Social Security was a bad idea. I do. I absolutely think it was a bad idea. He doesn't accept climate science. Uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, at our debate on that, somewhat, the first question actually was, do you believe in climate change? And he said, I guess you can call me one of those crazy Republicans who thinks it's cyclical. And we said, okay, Congressman, that's exactly what we'll do. Uh, you told us we could call you that. Uh, and, and then, of course, when he ran for office in 2014, he had four main issues. And one of his four issues was no restrictions whatsoever on the Second Amendment. And his belief is criminals don't follow the law, so why would we have any laws? That's what he said. And so since being into office, he's of course taken money from the corporate gun lobby. He has voted more than 20 times to uh, not prevent suspected terrorists from purchasing firearms. He's opposed to background checks, to any sort of gun safety measures that could keep us safer, that could start to address you know, the problems that we all see and the senseless violence that we see every single day that unfortunately because it happens so frequently it's just kind of lost and people aren't paying attention to it and the people in Washington aren't paying attention to it and so when you have these measures that 70, 80, 90 percent of Americans support because we're sick of seeing so many innocent people hurt and killed and obstructionists in Washington won't even vote on it you know it's a broken system and so Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell made it very clear. And they said, if you want to vote on these issues, then win. Okay, that's what we need to do. Because they've made it clear that they're going to listen to the corporate gun lobby. They aren't going to listen to the people until we get them out and get new people in. And we've got a really good chance right here to do that. This is a district that President Obama lost by one in 2012. And at the time... There were 17,000 more Republicans than Democrats, and today there are 4,500 more registered Democrats than Republicans. And so we had a poll come out a few weeks ago now that showed Hillary up 12 in this district. So the people here, we want, exactly, we want to vote for a Democrat. They just need to know there is a Democrat, a Democrat who is going to support and strengthen Social Security and Medicare, who is going to protect women's health and fight for equal pay, and who is, who is going to support common sense gun safety measures to keep our community safe. And when we get that message out, we are going to win. So thank you to each and every one of you for being here today. I sincerely, truly appreciate it so much. We are going to win because we have more people who care about these issues and know that we're right, and we're going to hit the doors and make the calls and make this happen. So thank you for being here. I hope it's not too hot out there. Let's talk to a lot of good people and turn this area blue. Thank you.